How are you doing, my friend, in this day? I would like to share with you a verse from the Bible, and this verse is John 3, 16. We've seen this verse maybe in bumper stickers, in cars, in billboards, or you've heard it preached by someone maybe in a corner street or at a church building. But this verse says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. And what I would like to share from you in this verse is that we find four verbs here that are very important, that God is trying to tell us something in this verse about his character. We see that it, in the beginning it says, for God so loved the world. And it's, it tells us about this verb, love. It tells us that God's love is so vast, so, en so enormous that he's able to, to reach every single individual that has existed, every single individual that, ha that exists today, that lives now, or that will live in the future. The love of God is infinite and it cannot be measured. But also in the original language, this word love speaks of a type of love that God was willing to sacrifice in favor for those that are in need of him. Now it tells us that God loved the world. Who is the world? Who is he speaking about here? It's speaking about every single ethnic group. It's speaking about every single type of, every single, every single individual. It's speaking about clans, tribes, every single person. It doesn't matter where you come from. It's saying that God loved the world. And it, and it takes us to, to, the, to the second verb, which is give. A person that loves is willing to give something. And we see here that God, the characteristic, of, the essential characteristic of God here of love is that God was willing to give his son. The, the supreme expression of, lo of love is to give. He was willing to sacrifice, to sacrifice his son. He gave his son so that he could die for us in the cross so that we can be saved, so that we can have eternal life. God's love isn't just a mere expression. God's love was a definite and costly action. He gave his son. It costed him the, the life of his son, Jesus. But in order for us to receive the gift of God, we have to believe. That's a condition that we need to meet. We need to believe that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. We must believe that Jesus Christ can forgive us from our sins, that the blood of Jesus is sufficient to wipe away all of our sins. We must believe that he is the Savior of the world. It leads us to the third verb, which is loss. God does not want us to be lost. God doesn't want us to perish. And it tells us here that the motive of God sending his son Jesus is so that people can receive salvation. God is not interested in people being lost. God is not that cruel, you know, being that is seeking to see every single minimal sin that we do to condemn us. Of course, God, God doesn't like sin, right? But he's seeking to save us. He's seeking to save us. He's constantly seeking out for sinners, and he's not satisfied until he finds them. God is seeking for sinners, not religious people. He's seeking for sinners so that they can repent from their sins and believe in Jesus. Believe that Jesus, his sacrifice in the cross is sufficient to wipe away their sins. The Bible says that for God, that that. It says that for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But it, it, it takes us to the last verb so that we may have eternal life. The verb have. God wants you to have that gift. God wants you to have the gift of eternal life. He wants you to have it. He expresses the, it expresses the, the, the eternal desire of God and the purpose for Jesus becoming a man and dying on the cross. He wants us to have eternal life. In this day, do you believe that? Do you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross to save you? Do you believe that Jesus Christ can forgive you of your sins? The Bible says that you must believe in the begotten Son of God. That you must believe in Him in order for you to have eternal life. Have you thought of this about eternity? Well, in this day, I invite you, my friend that you believe in Jesus, that you make 
that commitment to follow Christ. Follow him in this day. Amen.